Hey folks, welcome to this thing that I'm doing. Um, tarot journal? YouTube tarot journal free readings um, from me. So if you know me, then this is probably interesting for you. If not, then, you know, um, feel free to stick around. I don't know what's going to happen. Today, something completely different. I found this while walking home today. And I found it in a moment that I was honestly feeling a little sad. Um, for no particular reason, just thinking about how quickly time is really moving. Um, and everything that's happened so far and all the things that have yet to have happened and sort of sitting in this like in between um, just sitting in that in between and having a lot of gratitude for the present moment but also just yes still feeling frustrated about the present moment and so yeah I was just having a moment I was walking home and I found this um, it's the most beautiful piece of art I've ever seen and it means so much to me <laughs> it means so much I'm going to give it away or rather pass it forward if you watched my earlier video about the gift the dream I use the dream deck the gift gift card oh gosh it's not a gift card there's no gift card but in the dream deck oracle deck that I have there is a card called the gift and the gift is you have to be able gift is something that is given to us for a, for a temporary amount of time and so I'm seeing and acknowledging this as my gift it is a gift and it has power because I'm acknowledging that it does right I have to learn how to use it so this is this is me in an attempt to use this. I will bless this picture. I will fill it with all of my intentions. I will fill it with all of the good things that it made me feel, hoping that the next person who receives this will also receive the same blessing. A dozen hearts, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve hearts. And then get this, look what's on the back. one one sad heart one empty heart this is giving me a lot of a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings about a time when we all experience unfiltered joy just think about how much love this child or whoever drew this because I don't know had and, and I can I can feel it in just the way that it's colored the way that the image is created it's so chaotic it's so full of raw love and then on the flip side we have what I what I consider a bit of loneliness this is So here's my message to you based on this this thing here. During this time, currently it's December 20th, Monday of 2021. And we're nearing the winter solstice, a time which it's, it's the shortest day of the year, the longest night, and it is also the turning point when the sun starts to come back round. So metaphorically, we can start thinking about seeing the brighter side of things. If you are somebody who this year has felt lost or alone or 
stuck, isolated. Now is the time that you might be experiencing um, events or people entering your life for the purpose of highlighting where you left this. This version of yourself that would draw something like this. We all have that, right? We all have that within us. And, and when we learn to survive, when we, when, we, when we do things in order to survive, we learn behaviors and patterns that become our personality. Um, and then once those things are no longer serving us, but rather holding us back, then it's time to let that stuff go. And it's, it's also, you have to go back and explore and look for where you felt the most joy where there was no fear. So that's what this drawing gave me today. It reminded me of this, my goodness, like so much uh, love and optimism for, you know, whatever is happening right now in the world. It's like, um, the message is, it'll all be all right. It's all good. It's all good. S this totem, this object, will be an object of playfulness, joy, gratitude. It might help in calling back maybe a younger version of yourself. Someone who saw things more positively, who was able to, who hadn't yet experienced the trauma or any of the negativity. Because this is the version of you that the world needs. This is the version of everybody that the world needs. Just pure love essence, pure joy essence, giving, giving it all. And yet we live in a world where so many of us do feel isolated and alone. So this is, I think, a really important message. This was, I'm so happy that this fell into my life. It's just, like, it's the best piece of art, I swear. I could look at it forever. Is this your art? You can come claim it, but um, I don't think anyone will. I think the universe made it for me, for this purpose. I feel like whoever gets this just needs a good cry. <laughs> and how do you get it? So I'm gonna try something new. If you've heard of NFTs, I'm going to publish an NFT. I'm gonna mint an NFT using this image. And you can buy it at the energy exchange on rarible.com. Um, and I'll make it so that if you send me your address in the, um, when you purchase it, I'll send you the physical object. Cause I think this is, that's what's really important is when you can connect some kind of thought or feeling into, you know, transmute it with the help of a physical object. That's why we use physical things for divination like sage and smoke sticks and crystals and candles and essences and, and whatever. So this is just, this will be another one. I'm not sure what to call it yet, but by the time I post the video, it will have a name. Let's, um, so that's just 10 minutes right there of um, talking about art. Let's do a quick read. Beautiful. Amazing. 
Amazing. Okay, what else do we want to know about this art? How can we bless this art? How can, how can we integrate the highest lesson for all into this art? Heart art? This piece of art is screaming like inner child, inner child work, inner child. <clears throat> if you have gone this entire year um, without tapping into a, a, a piece of yourself from the past, I feel, you know, I feel like this has definitely happened for me this year, like a lot. Um, I've, I've, I've know people who've experienced this recently as well. It's like we're all going back and finding pieces of ourselves we left in the past when that person no longer could be available to deal with the trauma of the present, whatever it was, whatever it has been. And I'm just not just talking about um, the pandemic and the effects of that, but even before that. Oh my gosh, these cards. Even before that, oh my goodness. I feel like I just woke up after like five years Eight years. I don't know. Let's see what we have. Six of Swords. Moving on. A transition here. Four of Cups. Judgment. The Chariot. Yeah. Let's see here. So this is confirming for me that what I was saying about the child version of ourselves, the naive versions of ourselves, the ones willing to, you know, who are wear our hearts on our sleeves, the ones who are ex willing to express themselves most authentically because they, they haven't had the burden of <laughs> haters or, you know, hurt and pain. That person we'll call this person the child, right? The child no longer becomes available. When it's time to step up and to, when, it, when it's time to protect ourselves, this child no longer becomes available to us, accessible to us. And so I think we learn that as we get older to, um, I think we get used to that person just no longer being a part of us. We're willing to do whatever it takes to get through whatever it is we're dealing with. And that becomes our new mode of existence because we are now expecting this pain again. So, in the present we have, <clears throat> excuse me, five of swords, three of wands, and the ten of wands. You have survived, but now is the time where just surviving isn't enough anymore. Um, it's just not enough. We're all tired. We're overburdened. Something's got to give. Emperor, yeah. The moon. Oh, yeah. 
hallelujah, to doing like ceiling pump, ceiling press, root raising the roof on here. Because the Emperor of the Moon and Six of Pentacles. This is for somebody who's wanting to move on from survival mode. Someone who wants to really face their fears and take control back over their life. It's not easy work to recognize all the ways you've been complacent, all the ways you've allowed the world to change you, to shape you into who you are today. And the moon is about our subconscious and it's about the things we don't totally understand about ourselves. We have to be willing to explore those things. So that you can show up in the world in a way that is more balanced and more caring and nurturing. But you got to point that at yourself first. You can't be over here showing up for everybody else and not even yourself. Oh, we got, we got a flyer, the devil. Yeah, free yourself. Also, on the cusp of Capricorn season. Happening this Wednesday. Or tomorrow. Oh my goodness. It's all just happening so fast. So... That's what I have. I don't know. Maybe I'll clarify the Six of Swords. This is about the transition, the portal. We're actually in the middle of a portal right now at the time of this reading. Right, December 12th through the 21st. Tomorrow is the end of this portal. And you will be, you know, and, and the new year is sort of like a portal in a more visible way. What are you taking with you? on the other side, to the other side. You gotta let go of some of these wands. Ten of Wands is about being overburdened. Three of Wands is about growth, expansion, looking over all of the possibilities, really wanting to grow. But you can't, you can't cross that river with all ten of your wands. The number ten is confirmation that this is something that wants to end. This is the completion of a cycle. And someone's going to be feeling a lot more in control. Or at least feeling like they have the confidence now to address the things that have been holding them back. And like looking at this more um more authentically, more... We got the Emperor and the Chariot. I guess I could say someone who's willing to do what it takes, but not in a... Um, <laughs> not by, like, an, by any means necessary. But this has been a very deliberate choice that has been made. So this is for somebody who is really serious about calling back their child their child the child you I hope that whoever gets this feels even a spark of of how happy this made me when I found it on the street I was beaming I was I was like I can't believe it this is my lucky fucking day love to see it and I hope you I hope you like it too um, that's what I got enjoy your night um, if you've picked up this art congratulations let me know how it works out for you good night